Hello, my name is Don and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about the Luth AR stock for the 1022. You're not going to want to miss this one. So let's go over this chassis. Now this thing is made out of high strength glass filled nylon. It has 6061 aluminum adjustment tubes for the length of pull. It has an M-lock slot on each side and it has five on the bottom. It has a vertical grip, adjustable length of pull, and adjustable cheek weld. And that's the main thing with this stock, it's adjustability. This thing can be made to adjust a small child all the way up to a large man. My favorite thing about this Luth AR stock is its versatility. I have set it up as a steel challenge rifle, a PRS rifle, and a bench rest rifle. Right now it's in the uh, PRS bench rest uh, configuration. I have an AccuTac bipod on it. I have a four inch Arca rail, but you could probably go up to probably an eight or a 10 inch. I have a BX25 trigger in here, a Brownells receiver, a kid barrel, and an SH4 Arkin scope. And uh, we're just gonna shoot a few groups with it just to show you how well you can hold this thing steady. I'm gonna to start top left, hopefully it's uh, zeroed. Now that's pretty darn good. So I never had any trouble holding the scope on target. It feels just as nice as uh, the Oryx stock that I have. It feels maybe not quite as solid as that stock, but that thing's so rigid, it's really hard to uh, compare to that. Uh, and this is only $180 versus uh, what's that Oryx, about 500. So it does a really good job as a bench rest shooting stock. So let's go to the next discipline, which is gonna be PRS. So the nice thing about this stock being so light in the rear, it balances out perfect. So we're gonna try and shoot a few uh, white steel targets I have down there. It's about 65 yards. So we're just gonna take a few shots at this and. Uh, show you that uh, this stock can be used as a positional stock also. I mean, it balances out nice. Uh, it makes for a perfect PRS style stock too. You can't get much more steady than that. All right, well, let's see just how long it takes to turn this stock into a steel challenge rifle. Put your one action screw on the bottom. Make sure your safety is in the middle. Pop that action out. Pop this action in, and I tell you what, it <laughs> it really lightened up a lot. Okay, just like that. All right, now let's see if I have to make any changes to the length of pull or the cheek weld for this new red dot setup. It's actually perfect. But if I did have to change it, all I would have to do is loosen up these bolts, make my changes, tighten them back up, and you're good to go. All right, so I stuck the Faxon Steel Challenge upper in the stock. Let's see how it does.
Not bad. Let's try that again. Actually, I think I need to bring that cheek piece up a little bit. Not quite right. Let's try that. Yeah, that's much better. All right, let's try it again. Dang. Yeah, guys, this stock works good for just about everything. So this little stock from Luth AR is probably the most versatile stock on the market. It's the all-in-one rifle stock. And the nice thing about it is you don't have to buy anything extra to get it there. It comes with everything you need to adjust it to do anything you want to do with it. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for this review. If you like what you saw, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing here, go down there and smash that subscribe button. I can't build this channel without you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.